Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to cover strictly all the switches, the instrument panel, the light panel, and the air brake check. Since I've noticed in my training, especially learning myself, this usually ends up being the hardest part to remember. So this video is dedicated just for that today. Alright. The first thing you do is you sit in your bus and you buckle your seatbelt. Safety first, as always. Then you're going to check your mirrors. Check your side. Your crossing. Other side. And you're going to check your bus mirrors. Uh, rear mirror. You're going to adjust them to where um, you're able to see correctly. For the side mirrors, they are adjusted with the knobs here. Crossover mirrors, you want to make sure you're... Mm, Pardon, because the sun's kind of reflecting off here. We want to make sure that the cross mirrors, you can see the front end of your bus from either side of the mirror. And the mirror that looks in the back, you want to make sure you see from the very first seat all the way to the back seat and looking out the back in itself. So once everything's adjusted, first thing we're going to do, check our steering wheel. And then we're going to shake to make sure that we have no more than one inch of play in a 20 inch steering wheel. Everything is tight. On the steering wheel. Next, we're gonna check the horn. Horn works. Next, we're gonna check our windshield wiper blades and fluids. So over here, we're gonna push this in, and it's showing on the side that it is working. Next, we're gonna check our turn signals. So I'm gonna check the left one. It's blinking on the dash. I see it blinking in the crossing there. And I can see it from right here too. And make sure it's blinking in our light monitor. Then we're going to the right, working on our dash, seeing our cross, our cross the mirror, and look at the light monitor. Make sure it's working there as well. Then we're going to do the hazards. Pull the middle tab that's underneath the turn signal right here. Make sure they're both blinking on the dash. You see them both blinking on the crossing mirror. And then up up top here, make sure that they're blinking on your light monitor. Now next we're going to turn on our headlights. Make sure you see them turn on in your crossing mirror. It's going to be easier to see if the sun wasn't behind me. At this point, it would be a good idea to look up and point out that the tail lights are on in the light monitor. Next, we're going to check for our high beams. So we're going to pull this towards us like that. We're going to make sure that our high beam light indicator comes on. And you'll see, make sure you point out you see it change in the crossover. So low beam, high beam. Just, just show the transition. All right. Next, we're going to make sure, at this point, we're going to go over to all our buttons on the side here. We're going to make sure that the door opens. So it's one that's surrounded by blue. Push that open. Verify the door opens up all the way. Stairwell light turns on. Then we're going to push the button back to close it. We're going to make sure that the door closes. And the stairwell light turns off. Next on these rows of lights, we're going to make our interior lights for the rear left right hand side and for the driver so there we go show my rears on driver's side works door side works and the one overhead turn all works as well we'll go ahead and turn those all off next we're going to check to make sure our warning light our ambers our caution lights uh turn on as they're supposed to so warning light start Push that up. It is blinking. Light indicator is blinking next to the switch. Check to make sure you see it in the crossing mirrors that they're blinking. Again, it might be hard to see because of where the sun is at the moment. And you go up and verify that they are working on your light monitor. Next, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our stop lights work, that our crossing arm extends, and our stop sign comes out with the lights working. So, since this is already on right now, you go right up to the service door and open it. 
Verify service door opens up all the way. Verify the stairwell light turns on. Look in the crossing mirror. See the red lights uh, flashing. Look on the panel here. You will see that the warning lights red are flashing when they're working. Our stop sign is extended and the lights are flashing. And then, again, it's going to be kind of hard to see in the mirror. We may see the edge of it at the nose of the bus. You need to make sure your crossing arm extends as well. And of course, as I mentioned before, make sure the red lights are flashed on top. Next, we'll go ahead and we'll close the door. Door closes. Lights the light turns off. We're going to verify that our lights have turned off on our crossing mirrors. We're going to verify that our crossing arm has uh, retracted back into place. We're going to side mirror. We're going to make sure that the stop sign has retracted and the lights have turned off. And we're going to make sure the lights are off on the light monitor. Next, we're going to make sure the strobe light's working. Or at least it's on. So I push forward for the strobe light and it is on. Next, check the driver fan. Driver fan is working. That feels good right now because it's hot. <laughs> Next, we're going to check the driver's defrost. Put this knob right here. Air running. Next, we're going to check the heater pump. Make sure that's, that runs. You hear it whirring. And we're going to check the heater fans in the back. And then we're going to check the stairwell um, fan. So, fans work. Fan works. And stairwell works. Now, at this point, we're going to go ahead and perform our air brake check. So, what we're going to do is press down the service brake down here. Release the parking brake. Make sure the bus is in neutral. I'm going to roll it back on the choke, or the chalk, or however the, <laughs> the term goes for wedging the tire behind so it doesn't move. Alright. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to check for any air leaks in our air brake lines. So you inform that by doing that, you're going to press on the service brake and hold it. And after the gauges settle, you're going to keep holding the service brake for one minute. And if the gauges drop more than 3 PSI in one minute, that would indicate you have a leak and you notify the shop. Press it down. Gauges have settled and you wait one minute. After the minute's up, you're going to check your low air lights and alarms. You're going to fan the uh, service brakes for them to come on. Then you inform that if. Oh, before that, let's go ahead and fan them down, make sure they work. Both of them have come on. That would indicate you have obviously low pressure in the in the tanks. You would inform the instructor that if this was to happen while on a trip, you'd find a safe place to pull over and notify the shop that you have a leak. Next, we make sure our, our our parking brake sets. But again, again, I kind of went ahead of myself here. You're going to inform them that the uh, low, low air level lights and alarms become come on between 60 and 70 PSI. So then next you're going to make sure your parking brake will, will come on. And you got to drain down the tanks down to 20 to 30 PSI. So go ahead and fan the service brake some more. set it is between 20 and 30 psi and i verify the parking light on the dash comes on now next you got to go ahead and crank up your bus to rebuild air pressure back in the tanks to normal operating pressures which is between 90 and 120 psi all right turn on the ac a little bit because it's warm in here <laughs> Now at this point you will inform the instructor while the air tanks are rebuilding air pressure again. You're going to go ahead and continue on with your light check and your instrument panel check. Make sure you open up your side window when you do this as well. So we're going to 
gotta do is make sure our brake lights work. So we press down on the brakes, brake lights come on. Next we're gonna put the bus in reverse. The backup lights come on and you can hear the alarm. Get back in neutral and release the brakes. Now we're gonna look at our instrument panel. The speedometer is working correctly. So we're not moving read at zero. Our few our um Temperature gauge is on cold right now because we just started the bus up. It has not been running in a while, so that's shown working correctly. Our air pressure gauges are slowly building up, showing that they are working correctly. The fuel tank is showing that we're above a half a tank or about three quarters of a tank, showing that it's working correctly. And that if you're going to start a trip, you have to have no less, you can't have anything less than a half a tank of fuel. The tachometer, engine's running. RPM's up, showing that's working correctly. And that the oil pressure gauge is showing pressure on there because the engine is started, so it is working correctly. Next, we're going to look at our DEF. Um, sorry, our, our digital display here. In this, we can check the DEF level, it's at 40%. Anything at or below 17%, we need to add more. Buses in neutral. Verify on your Shifter is in neutral as well. It says uh, alternator is uh, charging out 13.8 volts, which is in normal range, so that's working correctly. Transmission is at 91 degrees Fahrenheit, which is showing that's working correctly because it's about 90 degrees outside. And it's showing the time displaying, which is the correct time. And that's going to make sure our message board is working correctly. So without pressing the service brake, so basically going out of sequence, I'm going to go ahead and put it in drive. And it shows that my range inhibitor is turned on, which means that my message board is working correctly. I'll put it back in neutral. At this point, I would notify I'm going to continue on with my air brake check. That my pressures, uh, yeah, the, the pressures in the air tanks have returned to no normal operating range, which is between 90 and 120 psi. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to let them know you're going to check the service brake. We're going to roll the bus forward and apply the brakes. We're going to make sure the brakes uh, apply evenly and the bus doesn't pull to one side or the other. So you push in the service brake, release the parking brake, put it in drive, drive forward, hit the brakes. Inform that the brakes have applied evenly and the bus did not pull to one side or the other. Next, you're going to check your parking brake. And make sure that applies evenly and the bus doesn't pull to one side or the other. So do that, you roll the bus forward, you pull the parking brake, and then um, the bus will come to a stop. So go ahead and roll, roll forward. Make sure you put it back in neutral. Form of the parking brake has applied evenly and the bus has not pulled to one side or the other. At this point, you will inform the instructor that this concludes my air brake check, and I am ready to perform my driving test. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day.